Welcome back everyone. In the previous part, we set up the projects and added functionalities to control the movement of the drone. In this part, we will make the movement of the drone look more natural by adding rotation. We will also add a button to trigger the takeoff animation and at the same time, learn about animation controller. Let's now add the rotation to the drone. Open drone controller scripts and then create a new variable called angle Z in update drone. We want the drone to reach a maximum of 30 degrees when fully rotated. A positive angle will rotate the drone in a counterclockwise direction. Assign minus 30 to angle Z. This will rotate the drone in a clockwise direction. Create a new variable called rotation and store the current rotation of the drone in it. Now, to rotate the drone, we have to assign the new rotation to transform.local rotation. Quaternion.Euler will construct a new rotation from the Euler angles we calculated. For now, we will only modify the rotation around the z-axis. To do that, pass angle z as a third parameter to Quaternion Euler. Go back to Unity and run the game. The drone now is permanently rotated 30 degrees around the z-axis. The correct behavior is that the drone should rotate gradually till it reaches 30 degrees. All what we have to do to fix this is to go back to drone controller and then multiply angle z by speed x. We know that speed x is between minus 1 and 1. That means that the rotation will be between minus 30 and 30, which is exactly what we want. To take into consideration a variable frame rate, we should also multiply this variable by 60 and then by delta time. Go back to Unity, then run the game again. As you see, we got the expected behavior. Let's now do the same to add rotation around the x axis. The movements look more realistic now. The objective now is to wait for the drone to finish taking off before being able to control it. To do that, we first add a new button to trigger the takeoff and then add the necessary code to prevent controlling the drone during the takeoff. We will also add a land button to trigger the landing animation. Let's start by adding the fly button. Click right in the scene hierarchy, then choose button. Rename the button to fly button and change the name of the canvas game object to main UI. Change the UI scale mode to scale with screen size. Click fly button and change the text to fly. Change the width to 120. Click anchor preset in Rex transform component. Choose bottom right config and then place the button in the bottom right corner. Go to Game Manager Scripts. Import Unity Engine.UI. Create a new variable called Fly Button. Create a new function called Event on Click Fly Button. We want this function to be called when we click Fly Button. To do that, go to Start, then add an onclick event listener to Fly button. Now, instead of going to Event onclick Fly button and calling the function to trigger the takeoff, we will first create a system 
to track the different states of the drone. Go to Drone Controller. Create a new enumeration called Drone State. We want the drone to be initially in an idle state. This state will be the default state of the drone. Start taking off state is set when we click the fly button. Taking off state is when the drone starts the taking off animation. Moving up state is when the drone starts moving up. Flying state is when the drone finishes taking off and ready to move. We will add more states as we proceed. Create a new variable called state. This will be used to track the current state of the drone. Assign the idle state to this variable. Remove the code that was triggering the takeoff animation. Create a new function called isIdle. This function will return true if the drone is in idle state. Create a new function called takeoff. This function will set the current state of the drone to start taking off. This function will be used to tell the drone to take off. We will now add the logic to transition between different states. Go to update drone. When the drone is idle, we do nothing. When the drone is in the start taking off state, we have to start the takeoff animation. Set takeoff to true, then set the state to taking off. When the drone is in takeoff state, we will check if it finished the first takeoff animation. We do that by testing if the takeoff flag is set to false. To see how these flags are set, go back to Unity, then to Animation Controller. As you see, each animation state has a script attached to it. Click taking off state script. This script has many functions that get called automatically. The on state exit gets called when the animation of the current state finishes. We also set the value of takeoff to false in the on state exit. Click now flying and moving blend tree, then open the associated state script. Comment out the method on state enter and set the value of move up to true. We will use this variable to check if we exited the flying and moving state. The value of move up is set back to false when we exit the state. Go back to the run controller script. Add the code to check if we are still playing the flying and moving animation. We do that by checking the value of move up. We will move to the next state when the value of this variable is set to false. We can only control the drone when we reach the flying state. To do that, copy the code we created before to move the drone into this state. Set these functions to public, then go back to Game Manager. In event on click fly button, first check if the drone is idle. Then call the function takeoff to trigger the takeoff of the drone. Go to Unity and assign Fly button in Game Manager. Run the game. Go back to Game Manager script. Add the code to hide the fly button when clicked. 
This is the end of this part. Thanks for watching and see you on the next part.